Hello, this is Matthias, and here I have a bit of an ESF tutorial where I'm going to focus mostly on maneuvering. Now I'm planning on making this into a series and I haven't really decided uh, what's uh, going to be the follow-ups from the sequel, but um, I'm going to start with some of the basic ways that you can practice and uh, spend. if you have the time to spend, you can actually uh, improve your control of the ESF by just uh, taking a 20 or 30 minutes uh, time out from gameplay and going into the virtual reality room and I'll give you just one basic example of how you can do that. Right here I'm dogfighting a little bit with Edexcel. We are practicing a bit on the test server which is uh, one of the best places to do this actually I would say. It uh, is mostly empty and um, if some other players show up they will most likely leave you alone if you ask them to. So now being able to dodge your enemy's fire is of course crucial in a dogfight like this. I'm, I'm pretty sure that goes without saying. You see uh, Edexcel. Uh, repeatedly making the reverse maneuver in, and uh, a lot of different variations of the reverse maneuver in order to throw off my aim. I am of course trying to uh, throw his aim off as much as possible and in this situation here you see I have wasted all my afterburner fuel and I can only rely on uh, the regular vertical thrust to uh, maneuver here. Oh, now you do of course need to be able to know how to maneuver even if you only focus on air to ground and uh, basically Every weapon in this game, especially vehicles, will be able to deal a lot of damage if not one shot you, so uh, that's why you want to be able to make sure that you can keep a momentum, basically in all situations. So I wanted to show you just one easy way of practicing this, and uh, it is of course in the virtual training area where you can do this. I am all the way down on the southeast corner of the map where this tower is uh, placed. So starting off this by just uh, tilting the ESF in one direction and using S to uh, use the air brakes and uh, by uh, tapping or holding space you will give yourself the vertical thrust uh, momentum that you see here now. The vertical thrust is the strongest with the reaver and it is also the strongest with hover stability airframe which is what I'm using and um, normally I uh, play uh, Terran but uh, this is, I think it is equally uh, easy to do with uh, all three ESFs. I can't really tell for sure, but um, whatever faction you play, you should uh, practice this if uh, you feel that you have a little bit of problem with it. And funny as it is, uh, for whatever reason, I find it to be easier to do in one direction than the other. So uh, try to go in both directions and uh, see that you have... Uh, it should be easy, you should feel that this should be easy to do. Otherwise you may wanna, you know, you know, take an extra 10 or 15 minutes of time to just get it going. I also recommend that you have uh, the external afterburner fuel in your loadout because uh, once you get uh, comfortable with uh, the first uh, little exercise, I would like you to do this with uh, using the afterburner fuel as well. This will give you a lot more momentum and in order to uh, dodge enemy fire quickly and effectively you need to understand how to use your afterburner in the right way. So now with the Reaver and the Mosquito you can rely yeah, on yeah. the uh, direction of your engines to uh, help you see if you are in reverse. Yeah, it's with it's the sight like, you can't like do that, you don't have that like visible um, help, the, uh, but it works the same way or mostly the same way. I'm also going to let you hear an explanation of a variety of the reverse maneuver that uh, I'm going to let Edexcel explain it and uh, you will see it from my point of view as I'm observing him performing this uh, reverse maneuver. This move is, is like popular when you, you basically turn while, while you have your uh, A or D, however you're uh, turning towards. So if you're turning towards the left, you hold down the D, so you lose momentum faster. And when you know you're going to push your scythe away from the enemy, Press the spacebar, and then basically afterburn away from him when you ha when you've lost most, if if not all your momentum. So now there are a couple of things about uh, these reversed maneuvers that uh, I was planning on covering in the future, 
uh, depending on your feedback of course if this is something that you guys are interested in so hopefully you will practice this a little bit so that uh, you will be able to stay alive a little bit longer in, in ESF in the future so uh, in this uh, fight I am going to try to use uh, these maneuvers or the vertical thrust in order to uh, dodge Edexcel's fire as he's trying to shoot me here I completely lost him. I thought it was gonna pass me. Instead he uh, reversed backwards and I see that he's got a good angle on me. Therefore I kind of panic. I uh, reverse quite heavily and the reversing itself uh, did help as intended. Uh, I was able to avoid being shot but by doing so oh, I have wasted all my afterburner fuel and I can no longer do the same thing as I'm taking fire more and more here. Now a reverse like I just did there could uh, save you in many situations but against a pilot like Edexcel when you have wasted all your afterburner fuel it gets almost impossible to dodge the incoming fire as well as he has been much more successful at conserving his uh, afterburner fuel and using it correctly than I did. Oh you got oh. me. So now in this next dogfight uh, I am uh, conserving my afterburner fuel in a much uh, more successful way by just uh, moving back and forward a bit here at this range it is really hard to hit an enemy ESF and we both know this and uh, as uh, we get closer here while passing each other's I use the vertical thrust a little bit to give me momentum because I'm uncertain of how good of an angle he will get once we are uh, facing each other's again so now for the longest time in this particular dogfight I didn't use the vertical thrust all that much. I just tapped it a little bit, allowing it to regenerate to full at uh, almost the entire time here. But now as we slowly get closer to one another, it uh, gets more and more crucial to uh, keep a momentum. And here I consumed about half my afterburner fuel in uh, just one lift. And I'm not in a position here where I can let the afterburner regenerate. I have to keep uh, moving around and uh, as I consume more afterburner fuel than it regenerates, eventually I will run out. Uh, luckily I was able to put the last couple of bullets in Ed right here stop, 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 in order stop, to get stop, him burning stop. and uh, that's when we stop and uh, restart the fight. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to some degree. And please let me know what you think. I am planning on coming out with more content uh, like this, more tutorials. So. Uh, Please ask questions uh, if there is anything you uh, are wondering about and I will also do this with some of the other pilots on uh, the Cobalt server so uh, yeah that's it, bye for now. Oh that was a big mistake. Yeah, I'm burning. Oh. Yeah. Now, I made a big mistake.